Elections are heating up in the Midwest. Last night, Michigan's gubernatorial candidates clashed over abortion rights. And in Wisconsin, the Senate debate felt more like a boxing match as both candidates sparred verbally in their final showdown before the midterms. And for more on the debates and the midterms, let's bring in CBS News political correspondent Caitlin Huey Burns. Caitlin, always so good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for uh, having me. Happy yeah, Friday. I, I know mm -hmm. you've been very busy, especially spending time uh, in Wisconsin, among other states mm -hmm. during this election season. What have been the key issues there from the voters that you've talked to? Yeah, Nancy, we were in Wisconsin earlier this week talking to both candidates, talking to lots of different voters about the issues. And the number one issue that kept coming up and up again, in, in addition to the economy and inflation, was this issue of crime. This is an issue that we've seen Republicans really blanket the airwaves across the country on this issue, but specifically in Wisconsin, where there has been an uptick in crime. And that is something that voters were telling us that they were feeling pretty acutely and personally. No matter which candidate they were supporting. We heard from candidates support. We heard from voters supporting um, both uh, Mandela Barnes and um, and uh, Ron Johnson, and they were saying that crime is an issue. So that has been a liability for Mandela Barnes and something that he had to respond to in the debate. And also the issue of abortion access is playing uh, specifically in Wisconsin because Wisconsin is under a 1849 law banning nearly all abortions in the state. The governor, the attorney. Attorney General is uh, waging a lawsuit against that that will take months to play out. But that's also something that voters who were supporting the Democratic candidate told us that is top of mind for them. And that is all reflected in our polling. Our polling shows the top issues in Wisconsin right now are the economy and inflation, but crime is third, mm -hmm. uh, higher than abortion. So the big question for Democrats is can they make abortion access kind of the driving factor for voters beyond their base? As the race stands right now, it doesn't seem to be working because the issues of crime, inflation, the economy are kind of taking over everything. And we saw that in the debate last night. Mm. And, and Caitlin, there were some animated moments uh, during the debate last night. For you, what were the most uh, notable moments? Yeah, as you mentioned, this was a pretty intense debate. But the most notable moment for me came at the end when the candidates were asked, you know, is there something that you admire about your opponent? And Mandela Barnes said, look, Ron Johnson's a family man, and I respect that. Uh, Ron Johnson said about Mandela Barnes that he uh, respected his family and the way in which his uh, parents are very much working class. His father worked uh, night shifts, and he respected that. But then Johnson took a turn and said, given all of that, I can't understand why he turned against America. And to me, that really stood out because you know, I followed a lot of campaigns over the years, mm -hmm. and this uh, cycle really stands out to me because the candidates uh, running against each other have a very visceral negative reaction to one another. Um, and that's that's really kind of standing out this time. Mm -hmm. You see this in Pennsylvania. You see this in Georgia. You see this in a lot of other states. The candidates just have a, a real visceral dislike mm. for the other candidate. And we see that reflected in our polling, where voters are suggesting or, you know, uh, implying that the other side uh, might be the enemy. And so that's something to kind of watch here and, and gives us an indication of how politics has become. Really interesting. It's like oil and water just don't mix, right? It, yes. it, it's been surprising to see how incredibly heated it has yeah. gotten, because you, uh, you know it's going to mm -hmm. be uh, all gloves off for every election cycle, but there's certainly this yeah. one seems to stand out. Absolutely. Uh, Caitlin, staying in the Midwest, but turning to Michigan now, mm -hmm. what was the debate like there? What was the focus there? How has that key race been shaping up in all of this? Yeah, this, Nancy, this is the big governor's race in Michigan, and it's significant because it could make history. This is the first time that we've seen two women go against each other um, uh, from different parties. The biggest focuses here were abortion, because as we've been covering, there's going to be a ballot initiative in November to codify abortion rights in the state. Uh, and the other big issue was COVID response and, and kind of how the governor handled that, and especially as it pertains to schools and keeping schools open or closed. And, and those two issues, I think, really speak to kind of how all of the political issues that we've seen are going to be affecting suburban women. Remember, that key voting block that made the difference in 2018 could make the difference again this time around. And you kind of have these competing forces of education and abortion rights. And I'm very curious to see how that plays out in the mm. suburbs. Michigan's a good example. Absolutely. Caitlin Huey Burns, as always, thank you for your insight. We appreciate it. Thank you. Good to see you.